Right, good afternoon. I'm Amul Muzumdar, and uh, former Ranji Trophy player, former Ranji Trophy uh, captain, also currently the India women's team head coach. So, I'm here to tell my journey, uh, which started way back 37 years back. That there were great memories, happy memories, some sour ones, some tough ones. Oh, my introduction to my, the sport came through my dad. And um, some unbelievable matches that I watched and just got hooked on to the game. I uh, just wanted to do my best. The cricket fields of Shivaji Park just taught me a lot. It was tremendous amount of uh, talent that was around, which got me ultra competitive when it came to matches. And then I, I met my guru, my, my cricket coach. With the era of 1980s was a little different. Um, I was surrounded by, by tremendous talent around me. There was Sachin Tendulkar around, there was Vinod Kamli around, there was Pramin Amre around, and there were so many other cricketers who were, uh, who were around me. Just made that ambience so talented and so competitive that you had to do something to excel in that environment. 1987-88 was my debut. That game I got 100, Sachin got 100 as well. Uh, we played at Cross Maidan and uh, I returned back home and my dad, I just told my dad that I got 100 today. Um, and he said, uh, yeah, I know. So I, I ignored him a little bit. He asked me, um, but why did you play the shot against an off spinner through the, um, you know, playing against the spin? Why did you play that? And I, and I started answering him certain things. And he said, um, well, at the end of it, I said, how did you know that I played that? He said, I was watching uh, from a background. I didn't come forward. I didn't want to put undue pressure on you. And that's the first time I heard the word pressure. Um, and, I thought, and I thought and I told him, that what pressure? If I can't handle your pressure, you know, you watching me, how am I going to handle the pressure if 20,000 people are watching me play cricket? So it doesn't matter. So since that day, Till I retired in 2012, he watched almost every game that was played in Mumbai. So, uh, so my initial years, I just went through it, that it was tough around. Um, the day started early morning, uh, 6 o'clock, we were all at Shivaji Park, uh, 7 o'clock, uh, the practice started. And so it was 7 to 7, 12 hours of cricket, non-stop, uh, till we uh, went our way is in first class cricket and that, that includes Tendulkar. So there was a grind when we started playing cricket, a uh, hard grind. As I said, competitive players around and ruthless atmosphere. Just a little bit of a brief, if someone doesn't know a little bit of Mumbai cricket, Mumbai has won 41 times Ranji Trophy out of the 84 that has been played. So you can understand what kind of pressure the players are under. You know, we, we often talk about, nowadays in, in football, we often talk about Manchester United, you talk about Arsenal, you talk about Man City. Similar, in India, we ignore that when people play for Mumbai, they are put under tremendous pressure. Because if you don't win the Ranji Trophy, either the captain changes or the coach changes. So your head is on the block all the time. You know, batting, or rather the sport, taught me about hard work, the sport taught me about uh, resilience, the sport taught me about the toil in the sun, what it is all about, the sport taught me about um, how to fight from uh, setbacks, the sport taught me about uh, comebacks, you know, how do you come back from a failure, the sport taught me about uh, physical fitness, it also taught me about mental toughness. It told me that uh, the opportunity will be coming the next Saturday again. There will be opportunities if you're ready for it. It also taught me to be humble in, uh, in, in your success. It taught me how to deal with failures. The 21 years of first class cricket that I played and prior to that about five years, of, of junior cricket from under 16, 19, 23. Uh, what I played, 
75% of the time, 75% of, of the matches I failed. But the 25% of the matches that I was successful, were, you know, you always strive to get to that 25%. But 75% of the time, it was a complete failure. So the sport taught me how to come back, how to push back. And it was only through resilience, only through perseverance, that what you're doing is correct, what you're doing is, is absolutely spot on. So you always try to build on that 25% and not the 75%. You ignored it, but at the same time you learned something out of, uh, out of the failures. So it taught me to focus on something and um, be truthful and honest to that profession that I've uh, chosen. Seasons that I've picked has been a magical season. Uh, for Mumbai cricket and it will go down in the annals of Mumbai cricket as one of the best seasons that have been recorded that has been recorded in the history uh, purely because 2006 and 7 there was again as I said uh, immense amount of pressure as a player on October 28 I was declared as a captain of the Mumbai Ranji Trophy team uh, within five days I thought, wow it's it's such a uh, lovely feeling to be first time announced as a captain of Mumbai Ranji Trophy team. We started our, our season um, as usual, you know, we, we worked hard, pre-season, planned everything, the preparations were fantastic and we went off uh, into the season. There were a lot of youngsters who were, who were coming through at that time. There were all, also some senior players who were playing for India. But um, we started our season uh, against Bengal, 2006 and 7, against Bengal at Eden Gardens. Lost the first, uh, first match. The second game, we played at Mohali uh, against Punjab, and uh, we lost by two runs. The last man out was yours truly. Uh, the second game we lost, the patience was, you know, we were losing our patience. The third game against Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, we lost again. And that's where things got flared up. Uh, you know, it started coming into the media, we started getting messages, I started getting messages from the ex-players, Mumbai um, greats. So the pressure started mounting up, huge amount of pressure. And I clearly remember that, that dressing room. It was a little bit gloomy dressing room, with, you know, glum faces. They were all down and out. Um, few things were said in the dressing room, as I said, you know, flared up. Uh, and we, we started our journey back, back to Mumbai. Uh, I'm talking about 2006, so about 17 years, I still remember. We were sitting in the lounge of Hyderabad Airport. Pin drop silence. I thought we need to, you know, reconnect somehow. Eventually, I get a, a message. It was before the WhatsApp uh, uh, era. So uh, I get a message on my cell phone, you know, uh, an inspiring message sent by one cricketer who was sitting next to me. Uh, and eventually, that message passed on to the entire team till it reached the coach. And uh, we started laughing in the, uh, in the lounge. And I still remember that after that post, that in 17 years, I must have flown a lot of flights and uh, you know, gone to different destinations. But I still remember that one particular evening where it all changed. Just before we took the flight, just asked everyone, are we going to practice tomorrow morning? because there was a four-day game that we played and we, we were traveling that same night, so everyone was tired. Each and every person said, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Fair enough, the, the practice was arranged and uh, we, we, we set off for, the th for our fourth game, which was a crucial one. The situation was such in that season that we had four games left in the league, league phase and we had to win all four including a bonus point. Uh, if you don't understand a bonus point, I would just explain in brief. You have to win with a margin, uh, a huge margin, or 10 wickets. 
So it was, it was next to impossible. Our backs were to the wall. But it was Mumbai. We were resilient. We were persevering. Uh, we were united. We were connected with each other. And that practice at 7 o'clock in the morning the following day changed the entire course of the season. It was full-fledged practice. It was full intensity, full energy levels. Just got into the fourth game, won the fourth game. The juggernaut rolled on. We won against Gujarat here. We won against Rajasthan. We won here at Wankede. We won against Saurashtra with a bonus point. And we won against Maharashtra with a bonus point again. And went into the semi-finals. Now that one thing... And now when I look back at, at that season, that one little message which got connected to everyone, it just changed the entire course of the, of the season. We went into the semi-finals. As I said, it was a magical one. But that was not the end of it. There was just a, a little bit of a trailer. Right, there was a plot twist here. Now in the semi-finals, I've just got a little bit of a scorecard, if you can read it. I'll read it, I've got glasses now. But Sahil Kukreja, look at the runs over there, zero. Wasim Jafar, great, of Mumbai, zero. Hiken Shah, number three player, zero. Amul Muzumdar, yours truly, zero. Rohit Sharma, first ball, duck, zero. Five wickets down, zero runs on the board, and it had never happened before, it has never happened after. From here on, I've just clipped this, from here on, Mumbai bounced back, and we won that match outright. It was a phenomenal game. <laughs> just the resilience shown, just the tenacity, I'm getting goosebumps. Just the tenacity uh, with which the players operated. And uh, just won the game in Baroda, came back, went into the finals, played here at Wankade Stadium against Bengal. And then um, obviously the test stars for the final, Ranji Trophy finals, the test players, India players came back, which included Sachin Tendulkar, Zahir Khan, Ajit Agarkar. Uh, and Ramesh Pawar, I think. Four of them um, came back, and then we won uh, here against Bengal. And you can see the uh, the headlines in the in in the newspapers the following day. It was Salam Mumbai. It was champagne stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, as I said, it was a magical season. It has never happened before. We were pushed to the limit but we were resilient enough to come back stronger. And it was only because of the unity that was shown by each and every person who were in that team. So it was brilliant stuff. Post this, I just played about six more years uh, in first-class cricket, finished uh, in 2012. I had always dreamt about playing for India. People said that you know I would be playing um, soon or I'll be coming in the next series but never did I uh, get an op got an opportunity to play uh, cricket for India. I never wore that jersey, that India jersey. Uh, so post this season when I wasn't picked in any other teams, I parked this thought or parked this dream of mine in one of the corners of my brain, you know, just, just left it there. I said, fine, fair enough, it doesn't, if it doesn't happen, that's fine, that's okay, I need to move on in life. You cannot be stuck uh, into the past, or you cannot be stuck into your dream, which is not possible now. So you just have to park that, uh, that thought um, in a corner of your brain. And I did that. I was very happy with it, very, uh, um, what do you say, I was very... Uh, okay with, with that thought that I would never be playing for India, which was my dream since my school days, since 1987. Ever since I started playing for my school team, I always dreamt to play for India. Who doesn't? Uh, so, the, so the dream was part. Um, 
in uh, uh, probably this year. Ten years down the line, I rested the case that India is never going to happen. So, but I stayed connected with the, with, with the game in different capacities. But never did I think that, uh, you know, that unfulfilled dream, uh, which was still lying somewhere in my brain, so in that corner. And then the phone call came in 2023. After 36 years, I did get a call from BCCI that would you want to be the Indian team, women's Indian team head coach? Readily accepted it. Uh, just a new role, new beginnings, but the same resilience on the ground. It was a new role, of course, you know, handling a uh, women's team is completely different to handling the men's team. I had no experience with there, but, uh, uh, you know, just took up that job and uh, made sure we, we, were, uh, we were on target. We played against England. The, f the first two series were against England and Australia. <laughs> Uh, I mean, England and Australia are the two toughest teams in the world. The first time ever won against Australia. Ever. <laughs> it was only because of uh, some amazing, amazing talented uh, girls in the team. Amazingly talented. Resilience at its very best. You know, when I, when I move around, People keep saying that, um, that I've been really unlucky, you know, not to have played for India, uh, not to have worn that jersey, uh, India color jersey. I mean, I, after seeing this, anybody in this room think that I'm unlucky? I'm not. I'm the most luckiest person born on this planet. So I play a sport, I played a sport, and I'm involved with, with the sport that has given me so much. And today, standing here, I can say not one person on this, in this country or in anywhere in the world can say, I did not wear the India jersey. I did that after 36 years, but I did that. Thank you.